<laughs> Welcome to October Horror Spooks. So I decided to play the original Resident Evil 2 because I'm a big fan of the game. And I'm going to click this so why talk doesn't, you know, do stuff. Uh, this is a PC version of Resident Evil 2. Now, if you're wondering why I don't play Resident Evil 1, not the biggest fan of 1. I have it downloaded, but I don't know if I'll play it this year. But I want to do two, because at least, you know, I'm familiar with it and I enjoy it. This is the original two, by the way, not the remake. Now, what's different with this is the PC version, as you can see in the bottom left, Resident Evil 2 HD mod. This entire game has been HD-ified and looks really, really good. And I'm excited to play it, but first things first, I have to show back up. Hello, I'm back. So, let's get right... Oh, the help actually was in the game. Let's get back to it, shall we? We're gonna play... I have no idea what the range mode is. There's original mode and arrange mode. I don't know what the range... Let's do it. Normal. Resident Evil 2. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation in the affair. The case was apparently closed thanks to the efforts of STARS members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from finished. Oh yeah. So time to see some up res uh, cutscenes by the way. Enjoy. These are way better than the PS1 cutscenes. Look how clean these look. If you're wondering, gameplay looks just as clean. Trust me. I glanced at it a little bit. What have we got here? Also, if you wonder why the subtitles are not English, this is the Japanese version, but with the English version and all that over it. That guy's a maniac. Why'd he bite me? Don't shoot! Get down! 
We can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. There! Don't worry, they just happen to have the keys. Okay. <laughs> oh man, hurry to such a good game. What's going on? I arrived in town, and the whole place went Great. insane! The radio's out! You're a cop, right? Yeah, first day on the job. By the way, do you know Leon Name's has a brother? Leon Keep nice an eye. Ow. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. There's Leon's brother, by the way. Look out! It's the same character model as Zombie 5. Hmm. You okay? Still in one piece. <gasps> that maniac's gonna ram us! It begins the nightmare. Claire! Leon! I'm okay. Head to the station. I'll meet you there. Okay. I'm gonna see how clean this game now looks. So if you compare it to the original PS1 version, you're about to see. Well, first let the nightmare begin. <sighs> Look at this. Everything's been HDified. The player model has a line through it. The, but other than that, the game looks amazing. All right, let's go. By the way, you can skip door transitions, but I'm not going to. I'll show you one time, but I'm not going to do that. Freeze! Who are you? What are you doing here? Hold your fire! I'm a human! <sighs> Sorry about that. I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? Hold on. I don't have a clue. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. But you should be safe inside here. I'm keeping a close eye on things. You should be. This case is broken. There's nothing useful inside. You should be safe, he says. Give me those handgun bullets. I wanted a shotgun, but I guess you can't grab it yet. Okay. Let's get out of here. Or you just can't grab it. I thought you could, but I might be thinking of a different game. Uh... Give me a second. Alright. Let's do this. Come on.
Alright, what's my ammo looking like? Okay, give me a second. Right. Come on! Doing a hit list. I'm trying to conserve ammo. Well, I'm still fine, at least. Alright. I'll skip this door. See, you can skip it just like that. I don't plan on skipping those unless I need to if I'm backtracking. Step one, we mark. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, I can serve ammo. This is survival horror. Not the regular horror. Actually, speaking of which, my camera is off a bit. I want more to the left, don't I? No, actually, it's fine. Never mind. I'm overacting on that thing. Nope. Just ignore. But yeah, the reason why the subtitles are in a different language is this game, I believe the PC version, they're using the Japanese version while overlaying the English version on top. Something like that. station now I don't know how long I'll make these I think probably the usual and we're there Oof. I was trying to check the officers bodies for ammo but they were already coming on top of it Don't go back out there. Go this way. I believe if you do this hit list and without shooting your gun once, there's a body down here with a key. I didn't do that, so that body won't be there. Oh, man. Who, who 
are you? Oh, you must be the new guy. Leon. Sorry, but it looks like your party has been cancelled. What happened? About two months ago, there was this incident involving zombies in a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. Chris and the other STARS members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything. They risked their lives to reveal the truth, but no one believed them. Not long after that, all this started to happen. Uh, uh. Hang in there. Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But just go. Geek boy Fine. acting. But I'm coming back for you. Also, just hold on. The locker says Jojo. I never noticed that before, unless that's a new thing they did. Jojo! He locked the door behind him. Alright. I will always stand by my statement that Joseph Joe Star is the best Joe Star. Do this. Yes, use the blue card key. The mu man, the saber music in the Rising of Game is the main thing. It's a good theme. Now, give me a second. I'm gonna find the map button. No. Ah, the start button. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's see what I can find. The thing about old Resident Evil games is I might have beaten two a few times, but I don't think I remember everything to do. Alright. Put you away and put you away temporarily, because that adds another slot. Police. Memo Memdorium. 8-23-1998. This letter is just to inform everyone about the recent movement of equipment that has happened during the pre since rearrangement. The safe with four-digit lock has been moved from the STARS office on the second floor to the Eastern office on the first floor. 2236. There's an office. Oh, there's an office over by the reception desk. Nothing special. I already know what's about to happen when I go over there, so give me a second. The desk is locked. All right, we're gonna go back the other way for now because I know what that way leads to. Also, I will not be doing anything with a locked desk, or we won't be opening those with uh, Leon. Claire can lock it. I didn't choose her to play first, because I always play Leon first, even though I think it's canon that Flares first. Oh, wow, that's a lot more zombies than I remember. Is this supposed to be like two guys? That is way more zombies than I remember. Arranged mode harder. Oh, it's an HK VP70 manufactured by HK Germany. It uses 9mm parabellum rounds. Also, I didn't mean to do that, I meant combine. Uh, I guess we're ignoring that side for a bit. Uh, that was more zombies than I thought there'd be. I honestly remember two, not five. <laughs> oh, we all know what that is. Oh, we know. That is missing. It seems to have been twisted off. Spade. 
is etched. Okay, so we got a spade key over here. Do not panic. We gotta remember, liquors are- oh, Okay, I'll grab that greener blader. Liquors are blind. They can only hear. If you try and sneak past, you have a chance. Alright. So we need a spade key for that door. Man, this place is barricaded. Yeah, even though it's barricade, you gotta remember this place fell. At the moment, there's only one alive police officer, and even he's about to die, it looks like. Alright, welcome to the star's office, I believe. Or is this... No, this is the meeting room. Operation report. Operations report. Or September 26th, the Raccoon Police Department was unexpectedly attacked by zombies. May have been injured, even more were killed during the attack. Our communications equipment was destroyed and we no longer have contact with the outside we have decided to carry out an operation with the intent of rescuing any possible survivors as well to prevent this disaster from spreading beyond raccoon city the details of the operation are as follows security of armaments and ammunition chief irons has voiced concern regarding the issues of terrorism due to a series of recent unresolved incidents on the very day before the zombie attacks, he made the decision to relocate all weapons to scattered intervals throughout the building as a temporary measure to prevent their possible seizure. Unfortunately, this decision has made it extremely difficult for us to locate all ammunition caches. It has become our top priority to recover these scattered munitions. To unlock this weapon storage, as stated earlier, it will be extremely difficult to secure all the ammunition. However, a considerable supply still remains in the underground weapon storage. Unfortunately, the person in charge of the card key used to access the weapon storage is missing. We have no we have not been un Sorry. We have been unable to locate the key. One of the breakers went down during the battle and the electronic locks are not functioning in certain areas has become a top priority to restore power in the power room and secure those uh, those locks. Recorder David Ford. Operation Report. September 27th, 1 p.m. The West Barricade has been broken through and another exchange ensued. We sheltered the injured in the confiscation room on the first floor temporarily. Twelve more people are injured in the battle. Recorder David Ford. Additional Report. Three additional people were killed following the sudden appearance of an as of yet unknown creature. This creature is identified by missing patches of skin and razor-like claws. However, its most dis distinguishing characteristic is its lance-like capable. Yeah, yeah, lance-like uh, capable of piercing a human torso in an instant. Their number as well as their location remains unknown. We have tentative, tentative, tentative. Tentatively named this creature the Liquor, and are currently in process of developing countermeasures to deal with this new threat. It looks like there was a recent accident here. Looks like an operation map. Empty soap cans and junk, nothing else to see. Got regular coffee. Mm -mm -mm. It's a fireplace, and an oil painting hangs above it. The title is A Sacrifice to the Hellfire. Alright. Take the red jewel? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm taking those bullets. Alright, we got the red jewel here. I 
I should really stop leaving my phone underneath the microphone because I'm pretty sure it picks up the ringtone. I'm just gonna move it to this side of the desk. There we go. Dead. She is now. Man, I think okay, arranged might move up the zombies, cause there's a couple more than I remember. Alright. And take these puppies. Is dark room safe room? It might be a safe room if I'm correctly. Oh, it's a safe room. By the way, if you did all that at the beginning, you can get in here and it gives you a special costume for We'll be coming to this room later, but not yet. That also, okay. Get the ink ribbon. Alright, for now, we'll stick this here, this, this. Let's save it. If you're wondering why the date on that is way not in October, I wanted to get an episode or two ready before October hit. Because my days are unpredictable sometimes. Are they all dead? Okay, I killed them all. Let's go. Don't remember if the red gem is used next or soon, I should say. Steal from the inside. Something is written on the mounting. The god of the sun and the god of the moon. Their gaze upon me is the only thing that can release this red soul. Put two and two together. Just swap the position of these two. Right there. For now. Oh, I moved it too far forward. Um, give me a second. There we go. Oh, come on, Leon. There we go. That one's good. Good old tank controls. <laughs> there we go. Keep pushing. Keep pushing till you're against the wall. There we go. I'll take my red soul now. Alright, I got both red gems, and I forgot what they're for, so... Oh, come on. I got both red jewels. Like I said, I forgot what they're for. I'm trying to remember. Conserve that ammo. Now, as long as they're kind of close to that, we're good. Okay, now this is the star's office. This is where Chris, uh, Wesker, Barry, and Jill would all be. Nothing suspicious, nor out of the ordinary. Or very 
various trophies. One of them reads, Marksman Contest Winner, Chris Redfield. A picture of stars members. All right, let's see. There's Barry in the back right. There's uh, Chris. There's Jill. There's Wesker. Man, Wesker looks so different in this game compared to five. It's trash, so I must have searched this desk. It appears to be a replica of a gun. The owner's probably a member of the NRA. And there's Chris's desk. Chris's diary. August 8th. I talked to the chief today once again, but he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella conducted T-virus research in the mansion. Anyone affected turns into a zombie. But the entire mansion went up in that explosion, along with any incriminating evidence. Since Umbrella employs so many people in town, no one is willing to talk about the incident. Looks like I'm running out of options. August 17th. We've been receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. August 24th. With the help of Jill and Barry, I finally obtained the information filed with the case. Umbrella has begun research on a new G virus, a variation of the original T virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? We talked it over and have decided to fly to the main Umbrella HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. And we got the Unicorn Medal, which I know we're doing. Leon! Oh, hi. It's good to see you're still among the living. It looks like we're not going to find your brother here after all. Here's a diary. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Let's split up, look for any survivors, and get out of here. Right. One last thing. Here's a radio. Take it. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. I can't believe what is happening to this city. Now, fun fact, there are books. Wait, give me a second. Decca's desk is a disorganized and untidy. Probably reflects the owner's personality. Then this Jill desk. It's a picture of a young man. There's a good chance it's her boyfriend. Uh, now, I remember that items you take as Leon aren't left for Claire. I will take the shotgun, but there are certain things at the end of the game I won't take. And yeah, she's still looking at the desk. Okay. But yeah, fun fact, there are books based around the Grosny Old Universe that cover the games. One, two, three, and so on. Uh, you know, maybe this is a mistake. There we go. Oh, I'm in trouble. from under them, they're dead. Oh boy, I hate my own ammo. But uh, yeah, there are books based off the Rosie Evil novels of uh, book games, sorry. And what? And in the books, they explain that the reason why Chris goes missing is he's taking vacation in Europe. Yep, that's it. 
he's taken a vacation in Europe, and so he's gone at the moment. I could heal, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna carry... I'm gonna get rid of the red gem, for I don't think I've used that yet. Just like how they explain why you don't shoot a lock, because, uh... Was it Barry or someone said you're an idiot if you do that, because then all the, uh... Full less chance of ricocheting or causing debris to fly back at you and kill you. Which is why it's me come across a lot of building and shoot it. The books are not amazing, but they're alright. Okay. We only have one place to go, sadly. windows. A bit rusty, it's been a while. Bullets. I use the heavy, but that's the thing I don't want to use. But there's that room with like six zombies in it. Okay. To obtain the key to open your car, I'll wait for the unicorn, okay? spade doors back the other way. Or, suck it up and go this way. Ah. Did I immediately just hop in there? Art. 
come on. Taking it slow. Okay, we're good. Oh, this is a rough start for me. I've swore I've beaten this game before. Nope, two green herbs. I will take. I'm gonna combine. And I'm gonna take. There we go. That's better. zombies in that room, it should be easier to navigate. Good. Ooh, man, I am rusty at this game. Go, 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 go. Okay. You gotta remember where to use the red gems, the jewels. Well, actually, I can take it, yes. Come on! I swear they increased the number of zombies in this area, because I don't remember this many. Maybe a ranged mode for my first playthrough in a while was an accident. There's a moth right there. Shoo. Alright, well, um, I'm gonna take this herb. Nothing is wrong. Alright, there's one zombie left in this hall, I remember that. Everyone else, I got dual headshot on, which worthy of a shotgun you. Granted, I don't have it later when I'm gonna need it, but still. Wait. Blood? Now blood. He is dead. Nope. He's dead. I'm running out of ammo. All the survivors you gotta remember. Let's see how well that's going. Oh god. Okay, small key. Small key unlocks a random drawer. Yeah. Okay, I can go back to that main hall and unlock that. Club. I, okay, I'm done here. There's not much else I can do. And all the zombies are dead. So I cleared that out. There's one zombie left in the hallway coming up. Do not forget that. I've gone through hell. There he is. Go. Wow. 
my birth. Round put the shotgun away, because that thing is now officially useless. Because I can't do anything with that shotgun anymore. Um, I will save it. I know this game has certain things where if you don't save a lot of times, you will get something. But how I see it right now is I just don't do slot. I just did some progress and I'm happy with it. I don't want to redo any of that. That? Okay, let's put the shotgun away, because I have no shells, and I used it in that room, which honestly, you might be yelling at me, well, how do, how could you, that was the worst use for that. Really, because I feel like that was a great use, I, I, I thought I didn't mean to do that, I thought it was a great use, because, well, um, in the end, what happened, I took two out every time with a headshot. Okay. Problem is my handgun ammo is now low. Let's unlock this. Give me that. Yep, yeah, all are fully loaded. Okay, we have the spade key. There's a spade door over here. We have to get past the liquor. Sorry. Okay, so I believe the door coming up is a spade key door. Also, some of these rooms I will not be able to open because Claire goes in certain rooms. Leon goes in certain rooms. I believe Claire does not get the spade key. She gets the heart key? Nope. Forget when you use the gems, but when it comes, I'm ready. There shouldn't be anything in here, zombie-wise. Cop. We're in here for. I'll take the ink ribbons two at a time. Beautiful. Because I remember correctly, this game there really isn't that long. Thank you. Now I know I need you, so I'll get you. Now, if you're wondering, why don't you play the remakes? You still want to play the classics this year, or at least some of them. I'll only be doing probably RE2 Classic. Uh, next year, maybe RE3. I can also do RE1. I've never actually beaten RE1, and I have that one downloaded and ready to go. Uh, I will make... I'm telling you this now. I will play the remakes one day. I'm not playing RE3 Remake. That game is a travesty, is an abomination, is not RE3. I refuse to play it. I know people like RE3. Not this guy. I do not like RE3 at all. I get very annoyed when I remember RE3 Remake exists and then how much they cut out of the game and how much they not change the story, but just the story. Like, I think it starts great. Then everything else afterwards goes downhill. On top of that, I'm sorry, Nemesis is supposed to be a very threatening character throughout the entire game who is not supposed to be scripted. What did they do? They made him scripted. No. Nemesis is supposed to, like, I don't know if it was a glitch or whatever, but I remember playing RE3 when I was little. He broke into the save room while I was saving, which is why I'm absolutely terrified of RE3. <laughs> Yo, I am, yes. He broke into my save room, I remember, and I don't know if it was a glitch or whatever, but he broke into my save room when I was playing RE3, and... Uh, Man, I refuse to touch that game for such a long time. It was... It's funny to think about now. But yeah. I will not play the remake. Such a shame. Are you a spade? Okay, wait. Time to run. 
No, I already cleared this corridor. That's yeah, a star's room. Alright, there's a door up ahead. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're making progress, people. Some of this I remember, but mostly what you want to do in a Resident Evil is... I'm dead. Holy cow. I swear they upped the zombies, because that was a lie. I shouldn't have played a range mode. I'm telling you this now. 100% shouldn't have done it. Oh, I'm in caution. We have the crank. I can do this puzzle. If I could find more ammo, I'd feel more comfortable. Or if I even brought the knife out. But the knife is only when you personally down an enemy, because I... It, uh, well, if you stab an enemy's legs, they have a chance to fall. I'm gonna fight you. I immediately regret that decision in my life. shortcut down here. I must have up the zombies, like I said, because man, there's a lot more than I remember. Because usually by now I have a safe 40 bullets or more. I might be remembering wrong, so if I am, well I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure there's less zombies than this. If you're wondering, I'm waiting for this guy to come closer so I can kite him. You are fast. Yeah, he's not dead. How much you just wasted, Corey? this hallway for a second I'm going back the other way you wonder you're like they're almost there what are you doing why leave that door I have to go through those two I'll do the library first which I think requires you to turn the oh right power has to be turned on right but yeah even if I killed quite a few of them I still have to, um... There it is. A bronze plate with a picture on it. Okay. It's time. In an RE3, uh, RE2 remake, this place has zombies in it, and Emperor, uh, Mr. X can chase you in here. It's fun. No, 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 I meant to do this. Sorry. Right. I was smashing the button too fast, that was on me. Because I... something over here? No. Okay. Alright, you want far left, middle with the yellow, middle again with the yellow, far right. So this one, don't touch. That one I gotta touch. 
I only moved it over. Oh, moved the wrong way. And the only reason why I moved it over is for some reason I thought there was ammo, but I think that might be the remake I'm thinking of. Alright, this one has to be moved over once. And this one's gotta be moved over to the left. We're good. I got barely any ammo. Will you take the bishop plug? Yes. We'll be using that for a while though. Now, if you wonder why I might seem tired when I first started this, uh, Mr. Idiot decided to lay down after dinner and then just took a nap. It was a nice nap, but as soon as I woke up, I'm like, oh God, it's so late. I'm about to do stuff. No, my day. I hate taking naps on the weekends because for me, it seems like a waste of time. I want to use my time. I don't want to sleep my time away. And so if I take a nap, it doesn't make me happy. Unless I know I desperately need the nap, but... Uh, I don't know. I guess... I don't know. I just was... Tired, laid down to watch some TV, passed out, woke up, and I'm like, ah, oh, god damn it. Square hole. Give me a second. Check. Ah, good. We're making progress, everybody. And now the crank is gone. It's okay, it's broken. I will give credit to uh, Capcom for Resident Evil 2 Remake, and I've never played 4. I only played like a couple hours of 2 though. I'll give them credit, at least they stayed faithful and then added on to the story. See, I have no problem if you do a remake and you keep everything faithful from the original, but add on to it. Like, RE2 Remake did that amazingly. They changed the combat and everything up, they kept the story as faithful as possible, while then adding on to it. There's a moth again. If you see a moth fly by, there's a moth in my room. RE3 remake. I hate absolutely because of what happens and what they did to it. Sure, why not? I'm missing a gear right in the middle. But yeah, as you can see, I do agree that right now this game looks amazing. I, I am a fan and I will always stand by this. PlayStation 1 and two are the best their best time for gaming i'll tell you why budgets for games were low people were allowed to take risk people were creative and people made what they wanted to now on that there's more things to that games weren't broken on release and when they were it's a bad game Nowadays, everyone's like, oh, the game's broken, but we'll get day one patch. No, 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 no. I want game to work on release. I want game to be like the old Resident Evil. It's the old Final Fantasies. No patch needed. It's the disc. No internet. You go. If it works, good. If it doesn't, they screw up. But yeah. A little tangent out of nowhere. I know. Okay, so we did this puzzle. We did that puzzle. Get the door. Really happy I could do that. Okay, yeah, we have to go this way. Damn it. That moth is really driving me nuts. Oh, well, he's right there. I didn't know how close he was. No heals on me. Or really, the handgun, but if I die, I'm gonna have to redo a bit of game. There is a. Okay, we have a chance to heal. 
magazine rack. None of these books are useful, and there's a small key. Or is it just a, a key key? Nope, small key. Okay. Give me a I'll heal in a second, don't worry. Secretary's Diary A. A April 6th, I accidentally moved one of the stone statues in the second floor when I leaned against it. When the chief found out about it, he was furious. I swear the guy nearly hit my head off, screaming at me, never to do... Never to touch the statue again. If it's so important, then maybe he shouldn't have put it out in the open like that. April 7th, I heard that all the art pieces from the chief's collection are rare items. Literally worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. I don't know which is the bigger mystery, where he finds those tacky things, or where he's getting the money to pay for them. Hmm, not like he's, I don't know, working for a big corporation. May 10th, I suppose. I wasn't surprised to see the chief come in today with yet another large picture frame in his hands. This time it was a really disturbing pain depicting a nude person being hanged. I was appalled by the expression on the chief's face as he leered at the painting. Why anyone would consider something like that to be a work of art is beyond my comprehension. And you want to know what the uh, remake does? It adds to this story. Unlike three. They make the chief, he loves, like, yeah. That poor secretary does not get a good ending in the remake, I'll tell you this. Woo! Uh, I'm gonna take this. Um, thank you. Okay. Oh, I am screwing up a lot this game, everybody, and I'm sorry. It has been a while for this guy. New save. I want to load those, the maxes. Technically, I can. Actually, you know what? I will. Oh. Never mind. I can't exit, exit the game. Ah, well. It's fine. I'm curious. It's like, is it max uh, all your... Five. I hear fire. Nope, nope, nope. Put the drink down. Another thing that RE2 Remake adds is why there's a fire here. Like I said, RE2 Remake, I never played RE4 Remake, but I know people love it. They add to the story. 3 Remake does not. This should get unlocked. To death. Take that as you will. Yeah, it's like crows, baby. They give you subtle hints, like, well, I wouldn't say it's subtle. It's like, you can peck to death while you, there's a bunch of crows just hanging around. But yeah, RE2 Remake makes it so you know why this helicopter crashed. Like I said, remakes, if they add, I have no problem. The helicopter here is a complete wreck. There's only, there's another remake I have I, I am very against, but that one I'm gonna keep close until that day comes. It's not, uh, okay. Alright, over here. We're gonna have to kite. I will give you a warning now. Do not open the other door. Do not open that door. That door is death incarnate. That door is not what you think it is. I am gonna save here though, because. Ooh! Ammo. And a valve, which we need, which unlocks the fun part of the game. Right, I will save now. This will be the last time I, uh, I'm gonna overwrite my older save. Really? It's already midnight? You know, it'd be quicker. Look at my clock. 
Yeah, it is midnight. Wow. Yeah, I took a longer nap than I wanted to. I took it, I like laid down around five, woke up at 10. I'm like, God. Like I said, I don't like wasting my weekends, and to me, a nap like that just wastes my time. I want to do stuff on my weekends, I don't want to nap. So I wasn't happy when I woke up, and I'm like, oh, god damn it, five hours later. But, it happens, no use being mad at yourself about it. If I want to be mad, I just not play a game right now. Move, 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 move. Beautiful. Reconserving ammo, conserving health. Time to unlock hard mode, everybody. Excessive pressure may rupture the water tank. Tease them out of ammo now. I feel a little more comfortable. That's the thing, though. I shouldn't feel comfortable. Bros. Wait, one second. Did I go through that door? I did. Okay. Okay, we're making progress. Beautiful, beautiful progress. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually kill you because this hallway is a little important at the moment. Blood? Really? Oh, there's the blood. Okay, we're good. Oh, jeez, that's a sucky place to put one. Move. Right here's fine. Alright, come on, you bastard. Show your head. When you show me your arm, and I appreciate it. It's a really nice looking arm, I will give you that. But, uh, we go. We have 53 ammo. Is there anything in here I can both the helicopter and the door destroy? It doesn't look like I'll be yeah, definitely not. Okay. But I'm just seeing if there's anything in here. There's not. Okay. Um I'm about to unlock hard mode. So you know how when you put the fire out in the RE2 remake. By the way, I've only played the RE2 remake up until getting to the sewer. I haven't played past that. Also, I might have to move my webcam if I think about it, because as you can see, there's a border there. So if I put my camera there, it might help. Cause I'm gonna have to. Yeah. Maybe. I'm gonna try it. Oh, this is where I need the gems, right? Okay, we got this diamond key. Yep. We got the diamond key, we got both rubies. I you know I'm gonna put my camera back. Oh, I don't like it being there. Like I said, it's all a test. I might be able, and what I'm aiming for, I might be able to do the entire police precinct this episode. Although I wanna do a little more than that. Okay, there is still a zombie outside that door. Save your game. Override. Always override. I want one of those max saves, though. Are they like hack saves with all the items and stuff on them? Okay, we're putting the valve away. We're putting the 
bishop away. We're gonna keep the small key for I believe I'll be coming across a use for it soon. You know what? You're in my way. It's time. I have to pull the knife out so I can finish the people are down. Okay. Give me a second, let me look at my map. Is there anywhere I haven't gone this floor? I've actually gone everywhere, so let's go down. doors over here I've been in. Quite a few doors. Am I allowed in here yet? No. Okay, so ignore anything over there. I cannot go in that room as much of a shame that is. But I can go around maybe. Because you can see up there where the staircase is, there's that door that leads back in there. I could try that. I forgot what key that uses. Let's do it. Like I have right I have everything I need right now for uh progress. I need I have the two red gems. The problem is if I use those, big things happen. So I'm just gonna try and use the diamond key real quick. Nope. It's not like an RE2 remake flicker where absolute sounds will, you know, you know, aggro him. Close there a little more. Okay. I don't remember what kind of key that door uses, and I might as well check. This is why I'm here. Oh, that's the electronic lock. I remember now. You see, my brain works this way. And upstairs, there's nothing, so I'm gonna go back the way I came. Wait, it just hit me. Bishop, 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 bishop. No, bishop's not a thing, never mind. I thought Bishop was the USB drive, but no, the USB drive is something else, I believe. Move. Move. I forgot what the Bishop does in the subversion of the game. Damn you, brain. Okay, let me pull the Bishop real quick and actually look at it. Because someone's probably yelling at me Matt, now, use the bishop. A plug of some sort. In the shape of a bishop. Okay, that doesn't help me. We'll put it back in here. We're keeping the red gems in here for now. I'm going to be looking around the place. There are doors that I can open. All right, we'll go in the other way. We're going to go and check out the door there and there on the right side. I have to go through the main corridor. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. I'm very happy though you can skip the door transitions because sometimes you do. There's a, a zombie I missed. Okay. Oh wait, there's a door there I missed. One second, what's in here? There's a door I missed. Is it that door? No, it's even farther up. Oh, it's... Far. That's a Claire thing. I gotta be careful. There's a few zombies in here. Alright, we're good. There's only two zombies on the right side. Okay. Okay, so, uh, one thing I believe you'll take note is doors that do not have an outline of a room on them are for an entirely different person, Claire. 
she gets the heart key, you do not. So she will go there, you will not as Leon. In other words, that I'm gonna go up to that one locked room though because the outline is there, so maybe... Oh, it's you! By the way, um, there's a game I wanted to play that came out, that's gonna come out this month, October. Middle of October, but I'm playing horror games this month, which by the way, uh... I'm playing... I'm gonna start with a game called Song of Horror, and if, uh... If you wonder, I am a wimp at horror games? Watch my reaction. I am... A, forgive my... Well, don't forgive my language, I don't care. I'm a pussy, you see. I am a wimp. I... Do not watch horror movies. I do not play horror content much. Okay, give me a second. I know what's about to happen, and I'm gonna get all these items before it happens. That is, I think, the trigger. You know, let's grab it, why not? It comes. Alright, we're good. But yeah, I am a wimp at horror games. Uh, I am also a, a giant, giant wimp at horror movies. I will never do a horror movie. And so, I've always been a, 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 I've always, always, always been a wimp at horror movies and games. Don't ask me how I played Silent Hills and all that when I was younger. I will give you a fun story with Silent Hill. Um, Silent Hill 2, I didn't have much of an issue with. I would watch my dad play the game when I was younger. Silent Hill 3, I released. We had the strategy guide. My dad brought it home. We had the strategy guide and everything. And I was excited to play it. The opening sequence with the rabbits. And, not the rabbits, but... The opening sequence um, with the carnival. The nightmare sequence where she is dreaming with the dogs and everything. I don't know why, but I've never had nightmares in my life. But that sequence triggered. I wouldn't say triggered something to me. It gave me nightmares for an entire week. I absolutely would not touch. <laughs> I would not touch that game for any reason. Oh man, and. I didn't beat that game until I was 16, 17. I am, like I said, a wimp when it comes to horror. Like for me, RE 1, 2, 3, 4, classic, 5, five is a great co-op. Um, but those games I do not find scary at all, which is why I can easily just play them. Even though in the past, of course they were scary. Give me a second. There we go. Beautiful. But yeah, I am the biggest win when it comes to horror games. And horror related content. Actually, give me uh, the ink ribbons. I want to save it for I did some good progress. Then I'll bring these back. I know, backtracking. Woohoo. Um, yeah, Silent Hill 3 gave me nightmares. Silent Hill 2, if I correctly, I watched my dad play that entire game. And I was fascinated by that game. That was cool. I was. I would watch him not understand what was happening. I hardly was afraid of what was happening. But learn a little more about me today if you're watching. And I am the biggest wimp when it comes to horror. And so, if you're wondering how well this is gonna go, the reason why I'm playing Resident Evil 2 Classic, even though I have no problem with the remake, I'm familiar with it, and it is a horror game. Silent Hill. I plan on playing Silent Hill 1 later, which 
is one I haven't really played. I played two, three, I haven't touched four. Downpour is fine. I like some aspects of Downpour. And then Downpour is the last one, and there's no other ones after that. I refuse to play Homecoming, just saying. That game is... It's not scary, I just refuse to play Homecoming. But yeah, I'm the biggest wimp you will see for horror games. I play things like these because I'm familiar with them. But when I play a game like Song of Horror, expect me to go... And I'm opening a door, I'm just like... Oh, what's up with hair? That's really interesting. Off to the side of my screen. I don't know. Oh, wait. But that's what makes horror games great, I guess, is you are expecting something. You're on the edge of your seat and you don't know what's going to happen and all this and that. And... But I am the one of the biggest wimps you will see for horror games. I will play what I'm familiar with, but when it goes to the unfamiliar, I am like, nope, uncomfortable, very uncomfortable, which the horror should be uncomfortable, horror should be unfamiliar, you don't know what's happening, you don't know what things are, oh, she revealed her chest to me, nice. I know what's about to happen. Run. Oh, is that only a remake? Okay, it must be only a remake. I thought that... Never mind. Um... Yeah, I don't have to come back. I'm thinking of later, I think. The music stopped. God damn it. Why did stop? Give me a second. I'm trying to find out where I want to go. Okay, that leads there, but I've already been there. I've been there. I don't know where it is. There's that door over there, but I can't enter that room. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm a fool. Okay, I know where I have to go. Wait, wait no. No, I don't, actually. One second. There's that staircase over there, it leads there, which... Might have something? Okay. Got the music came back. Put this back in storage for now, because I don't know I'm going to be using it. Yeah, I am a wimp at horror game, so prepare for me not to be looking at the screen half the time to come up with excuses. This is one of the ones I'm comfortable with, so I'm going to just play it. I'll have to put a border or something around the game, by the way, because it's not full, full screen. Which is why I might have to move my camera next time and shrink it a bit. Yeah, I might have to do that next time. My face is too big anyways. Say leave a recommendation of horror games for this month. But for this year, I have a general idea of at least six games I want to play. And they're all going to kind of be back to back to back. A general idea, Amnesia the Dark Descent, which is an amazing game, by the way. I'll be ending the month. I'm starting ending. I plan on playing a game I bought a, year, uh, a couple of years ago called Song of Horror. Oh! Oh! Wait, 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 wait. wait. Second, uh, I'm in trouble. They spawned the zombies back. That sucks. But I'm gonna be playing a game I bought year uh, a couple of years ago that I've been excited to play, but I have yet to touch. It's called Song of Horror. There we go. Oh, 
Which, I'm not sure if anyone knows that game is, but basically a music rock makes a haunting melody, which spawns Lovecraftian horror shadows at you. Permadeath and all that. That is what I plan on playing. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, so now my gun is more accurate, which is great. Perfect. But yeah, I'm gonna be starting the month, which this is after the video comes out with Song of Horror. And then after that, I am not sure at the moment. Maybe it's this game. Probably this game. Immediately saving, immediately healing. I expect myself to be looking away from the screen a lot and making excuses in Song of Horror, I'm just saying, so prepare for that if I haven't done so already. And then after Silent Hill, not Silent Hill, uh, Resident Evil, I'm gonna pull the knife back out and try and incorporate it a bit more. Alright, full health. I want ink ribbon. There we go. I'm happy with my progress, so save. Like, old Resident Evil games are fun. I, I I know people say they're dated. They're fun. I don't care. Like, PS1 and PS2, for me, are the highlights of video games. Creativity... Everything was on the rise. PS3, fine, there were still some there, but in 4 and 5, it's... Block! <laughs> Why am I playing this in a range? I should have played this in the original! There's no way that many zombies were in there in the original. Okay. A range makes this game a little harder. Perfect. Oh, God. Okay. Shotgun has no ammo. I used it all for that one room. I have 18 bullets left in my handgun. Nothing is spelling anything good happening for me right now. And there's an item I need from there. Granted, first aid sprays lower your score at the end of the game, but I do not. I plan on replaying this when I beat the game. When I beat it, it's that. So, um. Oh, this is gonna be. Oh, 48 bolts to my name in the first aid spray. Oh, there's items in. Too many guys for me at the moment. Ooh, that music, baby. I know this room's safe at the moment. Don't worry. 
I'm gonna use that immediately. Oh, I'm that injured. Great. Yeah, okay, we're not going there yet. I'm gonna look around. Save date, September 29th. Sh Michael or Michelle Festival. Welcome, Leon. Right, give me a second, let me do this. Alright, now I'm gonna plow in here whenever. Hey, look, it's JoJo. JoJo has bullets. I will agree. I will always say Joseph Joestar is the best Joestar. Hello to Leon. To Leon S. Kennedy, congratulations on your assignment to Raccoon City Police Department. We all look forward to having you as part of our team. We promise to take good care of you. Welcome aboard from all the guys at RPD. And I love how in the remake, because like I said, I played it up until the sewer. They have a little puzzle for Leon to unlock his desk and all that. And I find that cute. It's like he's the new recruit and they're all, you know, welcome in their own way, but... Yeah. Hey, man. Oh, wait. No, he's a zombie. No. I'm sorry, man. I like so one also thing I like about the remake is they give this guy a character. He's not just the guy like welcome and then dies. He actually has a character, which I think is nice. There's the hard key. All right, I lied. It's not her that gets the hard key, but she does get a certain key that Leon can give. What? Do you have ammo on you? No. Alright, this place is taken care of at the moment. Um, there are items in that room back there I want. The problem is there's two more zombies. That's my problem. So we're gonna go back this way for now. I'm gonna forget they're there. But yeah, there are items in that room I want. And not get them. Also, a thing I like in this game, you can set this to manual or auto. I recommend auto uh, manual because you will eat through your ammo if you do not. That's the thing is ammo conservation in the old game. Go on in here immediately. Why am I in here? Oh, that's why. Hi, guys. Wait, it hit me. Give me a second, sorry. It just hit me. No. No. Two, two, three, six. Sorry. I just remembered about that. Revealed one room. Alright, we have shotgun shells. I'll refill the shotgun later. One door for the heart key, by the way. I'll be making these around two hours. The gist game isn't too, too. I'm gonna pause it. You have to forgive me, by the way. 
I think I'm thinking of the remake when a certain character goes through one door while a certain character goes through another. I'm mixing up my uh, games, which is bound to happen. Like, have these shotgun shots. I'm like, thank you. Why are you We know what's here. We know what's here. Oh, we know what's here. That's a stupid idea. Let's go with manual on full health. They only take four shots to finish. Nope, not my man. Wait. to come any closer. We're on that corner. put that in automatic which would have really screwed me the autopsy room club okay anytime you hear that pitter patter you know it's a dog i mean i'll take a red herb and combine it with a green Full heal. Where am I right now? Oh, okay. I can leave. That's the green herb pile. Uh, it's a pile of green herbs. It has multiple uses that heal you all the way. But it can be used three times. I think it's three times. Well, either way, I don't want to go there because dogs will come for you. And I have no reason to go there right now for I am full health. Fine. Underground map? Yeah, give me that map. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of things here. Another herb I'm going to pick up and I'll combine it with my green herb. Maybe I'll hold it off until I'm desperate for space. Oh, I meant to read that. I'll just do this. Apparently, accidentally did it. I kid you not, I meant to fail that so I can read that. I'm good. Uh, that would be. Yeah, door's open now. Okay. That'd be the first floor. Arms storage, which I do want. Yeah, it's up, up, down, down. Uh, no, it's up, 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 down, up, I believe. Or is this the arm storage? Oh, no, this is it. There's a card reader. I don't have the card key. Time for parking, which is a very important location in the remake. 
I honestly didn't mean to fail that. I should just went up and all of them. I think it's time for some story to happen. Yep. Hello, it's the bitch in the red dress. Sorry about that. When I saw the uniform, I thought you were another zombie. Who are you? Ada Wong. And what are you doing here? I'm looking for some guy named Ben. He's one of those reporter types, always looking for a scoop. I heard he was locked up in the cell block, only there's a wrecked car barring the entrance. I've been trying to find another way inside. If we work together, we can move this thing. Give me a hand here, will you? Of course. Let me grab this green herb. It's over here and I'm gonna grab it. All right, now I'll do what I planned on, and that is buying that. Hopefully I come across the save room soon so I can store everything. There we go. Can't talk to her though. Okay, and I go. Ada, wait! Alright, this room first. If I hear anything, I immediately leave and contemplate my decisions. Wait, music? I was hoping for save room music, I'm not gonna lie. Manhole, I'm not going through that yet. We'll deal with him later. Not now. I have to get the manhole tool anyways. Am I still full health? Oh, I'm fine. Give me all the ammo. Yeah, we all know what that switch does. Bad things. I'm gonna ignore these because I am full on inventory space. Let me guess, you must be Ben, right? I bet. Get up, now. What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. Is this the guy? Ben, you told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? What did you tell them? And who the heck are you? I'm trying to find my boyfriend. His name's John. He was working for a branch office of Umbrella based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. Man, look at her arm. She got I the arm. I heard a arms. rumor that he's here in the city. You can see where the joints are I attached. don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? I have it right here, officer. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. Wink, wink. Who was that? Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. 
Get out of here before you lead it right to me. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're gonna have to leave with me. But do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. All right, I'm going. I'm distracted by his neck. Very distracted. Yeah, I know. There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. And this should be the manhole opener. By the way, he's dead. There's that door I can go back to. If it's a save room, I'm it's worth going back to. I need to save. And well, yeah. Say hello to this place again. It's the only time it's gonna be safe but quiet. I believe dogs and all that will spawn later. Is there anything in the cop cars? No. Guys wanna give me ammo? I love ammo. No, okay. Okay. Yeah, card key to get through you. I ignore this door. Need the autopsy key. Love it. That just leads outside where dogs are. Man, if there's one thing classic video games have are soundtracks. Really good soundtracks. Club. Once again, a club. That Claire's thing, the club. Honestly, cannot remember. I keep thinking we have our own thing. I'm trying to get to a safe room right now. Alright, right here, I am... What am I doing? I should just leave. something here good immediately putting every single heal I have created away uh, let me pull the shotgun just to reload it shotguns emergency only knife can go away moment actually no replace that with that do I want to save? I have enough ink ribbons. Why not? I believe they keep the ink ribbon idea up until... No, because they stopped using it by Code Veronica. I was going to say the ink ribbon idea was used up until Code Veronica, but that is a lie. Because I believe they stopped using it by Code Veronica. Wait, I'm gonna end this one here. This one, I'm gonna be going to the car lot afterwards and opening that manhole where the dogs are. 
I wanted to put some things away. And like I said, I am not going to be going to the one in the upper right. That is a herb cure. It is not a manhole or anything, and you gotta go past two dogs to get it. Waste of ammo, full health, have a lot. Like, if there's one thing Resident Evil does, is if you look at my inventory, everybody, look at all these heals I got. I have more than enough for now. But yeah, I'm gonna call this one here. I will be picking up later. Uh, next time, my webcam will probably be moved a bit more to the right and smaller. You do not need to see me that bad. So the sides where the black bars are will have a picture on them. Make it look prettier because this game is not, you know, full, full screen. But until the next time, and maybe I won't take a nap, hopefully, all day. Ugh, five hour nap, man. That's annoying. But until then, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.